Nigerian mom. I have to say my part. I have freedom of speech. You guys drive me crazy. <laughs> you beat me so much. Open up your heart. Open up your heart. My name is Awaka A M A K A. -A. This is my mom. Hi. Hello, mother. This is Simi, aka Chidema. Y'all already know her. If you don't know her, you need to go watch all our videos. Really fun. And that's my brother, Kalichi. He has never been on my channel, so they are both new. My mom and my brother. Yeah. So today's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day if you're a mom. What up? You're awesome. Today we're doing a Mother's Tag video. But I decided to also bring my siblings because they're very funny and you guys are going to love this video. If you are new to this channel, what should they do? Subscribe, subscribe like, like, comment below. Share Let's the video. see. Yeah, share the video. The questions I made were for me, it was mostly for the audience, you guys. So, first question is Who is your favorite child? And if you don't have a favorite child, how will you define each of us? Um, I really don't have a favorite child out of the three of them. I love the three of them, the three of you equally. And um, I know they don't believe me. Oh, obviously, because she's your favorite child. That's I why know it. I stairs, Amaka feels I love Chidima more. Chidima feels I love Amaka more. Kelechi feels, you know, and all of that. But um, really, as a mother, I love the three of you equally. And that's the truth. So, how would you define each of us? Amaka is um, quiet. Peaceful. <laughs> oh, my friends are not believing me because I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> and easygoing, you know. And then, um, Kelechi is, um, for a boy, for, for, for a guy, even, you know, from his childhood, he had always been calm, not a rough boy, not, you know, very, um, not too active, not too social, you know, but, um, we quarrel a lot. Yeah. <laughs> then, Simi is my extrovert, social life, an extrovert. you know, and um, all over the place. Kind of <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's good. Second question is, how did growing up as a Christian child impact your life? Impacted my life positively. I grew up, you know, in a Christian family and um, it gives you the foundation for your life. The question is, what is something you don't like about us? <laughs> this is our favorite part, guys. Hey, that's a big one. That's a big fish. You guys could be so annoying. You guys drive me crazy. <laughs> what does it take to say, do this and you get it done? What does it take to say, stop making noise, or okay, I need to sleep, or okay, make food. And you go, mommy, do we always have to do it immediately you want it? Do you always have to? Come on. That drives me crazy. I have never said that. Yeah. Who says that, mommy? So, no one says that. that. No one says that. So I'm that. lying. Am I lying? I'm not lying. And then, <laughs> Nigerian mom, mm. oh, you know, you make noise too much. You want us to do everything too much and everything. And, you know, it really gets me crazy. <laughs> I'm an African mom and I'm saying it to you all. It gets me crazy and it gets every mother crazy. Please, for crying out loud. Oh my God. <laughs> Next question is, who do you think will get married first? Huh? Married? I'm a cop, of course. You really? And then Kilechi, and then Chilima. Well, we don't know how life works, but okay. okay. It's not about your age. Yeah, well, I guess it's a yeah, it space really of five matter. years, you know, between the two of you. But it doesn't really matter who. So? Right. So are you in a hurry to get married? <laughs> no, but like, it's just <laughs> most like. You like to get married before Maka? What? But we said if she wants it's not to get like married. I'm planning to. Okay. I'm just saying, like, with the, it's more likely. The next question is who got the most whooping slash beating growing up? Ah. I don't know. It was me. Maybe Chidima. It was me. Yeah, I think it was me. That was me. I think it was me, mommy. <laughs> well, I, I don't, don't know how. How? Exactly. How is he? Mommy, I think you beat me so much. Really? You punish wow. me so much. Oh. Yes. All the okay. ones that she beat me in my 15 exactly. years, covered years. 
Well, I think I beat Chidima more because she was so hyper and um, she just used to be all over the place and it just became so reflex for me to just give her what we call a bara, just, you know, give her a tap on her back. Tap? And, oh, <laughs> <laughs> tap. Spend on the rod. Somebody asked, why did your mom choose the name Amaka for you? Um, I actually didn't choose the name. Grandpa named you Amaka. I named you um, Buluatife. Based on, you know, some of the things that I've seen my mother do, the way they correct us, the way they teach us, you know, and things like that. And then sometimes you just know the right thing to say. Although, most of the times when I say something, you know, maybe Amaka will be like, oh, okay, I'm siding Chidima, Chidima will be like, oh, if I was the one that did it, you'd have done this, you wouldn't have reacted this way, you wouldn't have reacted that way, you know, and all of that. But then, you know, just true. Um, God's wisdom through the upbringing I've had, you know, the teachings from church, through the word of God, you know, and things like that. So, all of that put together really helped me. There are some mistakes you made being a mother. Not, not anyone that I know. I think my brother should have gone to boarding school. Oh, okay, yeah. That's the one. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, um, well, yeah, I think, I think um, so. if you say so, um, right now, I agree because it would have helped him. It really would have changed much, to be honest with you. Yes, it would have. In terms of um, time management, absolutely 100% Kilichi should have gone to boarding school because he would have learned how to wake up. <laughs> In the morning. I still get things done though. So. You know, to get things done. I still get things so things that, done. So that's. Like, if that was a mistake or if that was a gap, yes. I, if I can take back the time, the hand in time, I will do that and send him right away to boarding school. Back you yellow know? talks back more. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we going to do? <laughs> One. Two. No, one. <laughs> more, mommy. Okay, one more. Person. Me! <laughs> I talk about why? She wants to prove everything. <laughs> oh no. my god! African mom! Nigerian mom! I have to say my part! I have freedom really of speech! Yeah. I must let you know my mind! I have to say my mind! <laughs> no, like, that's not it! The oh, thing why? is, yeah, the right. thing is she asked she asked me a question and I answer and it's like I'm talking back. So like the question is just to be hanging in the air. Oh. Anyways, next question is <laughs> who is more similar to you amongst all of us? She's literally the second mother. Is what is an advice you would give to the younger generation? I would want to encourage you all. You all have talents deposited into you. Everybody has their own talents. God gave it to everybody according to their own portion. Some of you have, you know, things that have been deposited into you. Maybe you've been singing since you were a little baby. You just like singing. Maybe you just like drawing, you like coloring, maybe you just like cooking, you like cleaning the house. Anything you know that you find around you that you like doing or that is your talent. Or people are always saying, oh, you should be a comedian, you should be an actress, you should be this, you should be that. Every Everybody has their talents deposited into them. I want you to take your time to locate it, you know, and start working towards that path, you know. In Nigeria, for example, most parents would wants their children to be lawyers or doctors you know and things like that but actually everybody has something in them so i want you to look at yourself and bring out that thing that is inside of you and you can always turn anything around make anything into a business opportunity you know and then the sky will be your beginning i want a mother tag so much so we gave it to y'all and also, um, my mom actually has a YouTube channel where she like talks about her business and all those things. I'll put the link in my bio and probably up over here so you guys can see it. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And also, my, my sister and I, we're going to do a whisper challenge when we get to 400 subscribers. It's going to be very fun. So keep sharing the video, tell people to subscribe. And yeah, we can't wait to deliver to you guys. I hope you guys have a nice and amazing day. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Hey. Big things, big fish. You feel me? This one is just sitting down, posing like a video. <laughs> <laughs>